We worked towards improving the tracking accuracy achieved with VNAVs for prospective correction of head motion. I have no financial interests to declare. It is well known that motion during an MRI scan introduces artifacts. An effective way of detecting head motion during the acquisition are volumetric navigators or VNAVs. These are low resolution 3D EPI scans interleaved with the anatomical sequence and the information they provide can be used to correct motion as it happens in the scanner. The images shown on the left and right were acquired in the same subject with similar levels of motion. Rotations and translations are estimated from VNAVs by registering each frame back to the first. This is based on the assumption that the head moves as a rigid body. However, sometimes non-rigid motion can occur, for example of the neck or mouth. This can drive the registration to a global solution that does not optimally align the brain. Such bias in the motion estimates may lead to inaccurate corrections and can potentially introduce artifacts like the ringing shown here. So how do we get the registration to ignore anatomy that moves non-rigidly? Our answer is, let's register the brain only using a mask derived for each VNAV. Promo uses a similar approach, registering triplane navigators using a single mask derived offline for an atlas. In contrast, we developed a real-time masking algorithm based on a computer vision feature called Maximally Stable Extremal Regions, or MSOS. These are areas of homogeneous intensity in the image. We detect them in 3D as follows. All voxels are removed from the image and we step through the intensity levels. At each level, we reinsert the corresponding voxels and track the size of clusters as they appear. Now, an MSA is defined by the voxels of a cluster if its growth rate is at a local minimum. And we identify the brain as the largest of these features. Some examples. Each frame shows a VNAV for one of 258 HCP aging subjects at the top. The center shows the derived masks, which were morphologically opened to remove occasional neck voxels. At the bottom, the masks are dilated for the registration. The algorithm takes about 15 milliseconds per frame. We assess accuracy by comparing the first mask of each series to a brain mask derived for the parent scan using FreeSurfer. We assess precision within series by comparing the overlap of each mask with the first frame. Overall, we find the masking to be reliable in terms of dice, both across subjects and frames. We also tested FSL bed and Robex, which did not recognize the brain in VNAVs and took minutes, respectively. To test this in practice, we scanned an otherwise still subject who opened their mouth at the times shown in grey. We acquired VNAVs during MP rage without applying corrections and performed all analyses offline. Shown are the translations and rotations for PACE, which is the online registration algorithm on the Siemens platform. The center plot shows motion parameters derived using FSL FLIRT with the derived masks for the same scan. The trace is less noisy and the spikes when the mouth moves are reduced. For comparison, FLIRT without masks shows less drift than PACE but some sensitivity to mouth motion. To assess the effect this has on the image, we applied these estimates to case space after the fact using RetroMoco Box. We compared image quality for the different algorithms in terms of Shannon entropy and found that the best quality was obtained for brain-specific registration, whereas PACE was clearly biased. I should highlight that FLIRT took about 6 seconds per registration offline, which is too long for real-time corrections, where we only have a few hundred milliseconds. Let's have a look at the actual images. The correction based on the motion trace from PACE introduced subtle ringing. This is substantially improved when using brain-specific registration. To summarize, we introduced a robust real-time masking algorithm. We demonstrated that non-rigid motion in the field of view can bias VNAV-based tracking. The resulting artifacts may be reduced by brain-specific registration. This has potential in children, where the shoulders and chest may impinge on the VNAV field of view, and at 7T, where distortion around the sinuses is a known source of bias. Further work will integrate this approach with the real-time correction and provide further analyses. Thank you.